Hi there, I'm Mark Waite from Mark My Words. On this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you've had a, a setback in life, which we all have, most of us, <laughs> of some sort, and I'm talking about either a long-term relationship setback, breakdown, divorce, separation, that's caused you pain, or a financial setback, which has caused you pain, or in my case, both um, happening pretty much together, uh, then you've found the right channel if that's you. So on today's video, I'm going to talk about a friend of mine. His name is Mal, and I'll put a picture of Mal there so you can have a see, see who he is. But Mal, uh, just to paint a picture of Mal's story, Mal, uh, far, five years ago, was 59 years of age, and he is a dad, a divorced dad of eight children from two marriages. And at 59 years of age, back in 2015, he was bankrupt. All right, so let's just have a think about this. 59, bankrupt, twice married, twice married and failed, and, you know, in a really low point in his life. And... I want to read you, I have I put a post up on the Mark My Words private Facebook group in recent days, just talking about Mal's story, and the feedback I've got was amazing, and the questions I was asked to ask Mal was, how did he do it? What did he do? So on this video, I want to talk to you around the answer to that question, which which he sent me today. So I thought it'd be good content and some good lessons in this for you if, in fact, you want to fast track your comeback. Because today he um, has just paid cash for a brand new house and just paid cash for a brand new two-door Mercedes, AMG 6.3 litre V8 Mercedes. So uh, you can rebuild your life. Um, there's no doubt about it, okay? And I, again, this the whole purpose of this channel is to get you to believe that. You can fast track your comeback. It doesn't have to take you as long the second or third time in some cases or more as it did the first time to arrive to where you were prior to your setback happening. So, and he writes this, as I reflect on the last few years of my, my journey, I've thought long about what I've done that maybe others have not done. Uh, I have no doubt that if you're reading this message that uh, you would love to rebuild your life. Early in 2016, I had nothing. I had very little belief in me that I could build a business again. I was at minus 130,000. Getting back to zero was a huge dream for me at the time. And I lacked confidence in me. I felt defeated and like I was a, some kind of loser. My initial goal was just to make $100 a week back in business. I doubt that for many of you listening to this, this would be, you would be in a worse situation than that. So here are the things that I have done more than anyone I know in my current world. Number one, I started listening to audiobooks or audibles at least five days a week. Now, if I could go back and change that, I would do it seven days a week, at least 30 minutes per day, often one hour a day when I was out walking. Remember, change is a process, not an event. Change is a process, not an event. Capture that, hold that. But I guarantee if you were to do this starting today, at the end of 2021, which is 12, you know, over a year from now, your life will be totally different, totally. I'm still doing this today. The most significant audible for me was You Were Born Rich in seminar format with Bob Proctor and John Canary. He's back on that now, he says, and it's brilliant. So that's number one. Listen to audio, Audible, at one positive audible per day, every day. He, he did it five days a week, but if he had his time over again, he would do it seven days a week. Number two, I started to dream build again. Every day, online, in my thoughts, physically, magazines, every day I do this. Change your thoughts, change your life. Create a new picture. Look forward. We must let go of the past. You must find some emotional dreams to draw you on. You must want your dreams more than your fears. That's a biggie. 
So to focus forward, focus on your dreams, focus on what you want, not on more of what you don't want. Okay, that's number two. Number three, persistent effort. Not massive, not always good, not always as I would have liked, but I have been consistent. And by that he means he's been consistent daily at rebuilding his future. And in Mal's case, it was in business for himself. So, and then he follows up with, Success after a setback is not for the chosen few, but the few who choose. Success is a decision. You can do three things. Can you do the three things above? Of course you can. That's not being good or clever or experienced. It's just going on faith to follow the steps that I took when I was at ground zero. If I can do the above, you can too. Maybe, like me, you want to be in a totally different place financially at the end of 2021. The above will make that happen for you. Hope this helps you on your journey. Mal. So let's just recap what Mal's talking about. It's three things, okay? And, you know, if you've listened to um, this channel or watched this channel for any length of time, you'll possibly see a, maybe a consistent thread through a lot of the content, and that is really centered around letting go of the past and focusing on your future. Now, you, you can hear that said, and that's, that's sometimes easier said than done, particularly if you're relatively uh, raw from a recent setback. Like if you've had a life that you've been sort of used to for a, a, any length of time, uh, you know, you've been married long term, you've got family, uh, business, finances, you've had a lifestyle and it's been kind of what you are used to for a long period of time and all of a sudden that radically changes that takes a while to get through right now you can get through it because that's Mal's situation he was married twice eight children from two marriages um, and a hundred and thirty thousand dollars in the hole financially okay with no assets bankrupt so you know his life radically changed right and it took a very intentional effort for him to get his head right, to line up with what he wanted, and then the actions followed. Okay, so let's just recap here. Number one, um, he, uh, let me just get my glasses back on here, right, so I can see. Number one, he started listening. Number one, listened to an audible every day every day now he said if he did it five days for the, in a week if he could have his time over again he'd do it every day of the week can you do that can you make sure that you control what goes in through your ears and you fill it up fill your mind this piece of real estate between your ears with content that's going to add value to your comeback and help you fast track your comeback cause you to grow as a human being and, and, and develop and become more than what you'd ever imagine you could become? Or are you going to decide to not do that and camp where you're at? And again, if you're in the thick of a really raw setback right now and you, you're heartbroken, this will take some time. But, you know, I was down on the canvas for 12 months, right? I didn't want to get up. I was. I felt like I had a knockout punch, right? I was broken in lots of ways, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. Every area of my life was broken. <clears throat> but after being down and knocked out <laughs> for a length of time, I just decided one day, stop it. I can't keep living like this. And you'll get to a point too, if you haven't already, that you'll say to yourself, no one will say it for you. You'll say to yourself, you know what? Stop it. I'm ready to rebuild. I can't keep living like this. Right? And you'll find it within you to find the reasons why to commit to a massive comeback in your life. All right? So that will happen for you. Number two, he started dream building again. Dream build. Right? What does that mean? That means to look and focus and intentionally immerse your mind into, onto what you want. Okay? You've got to know what you want. Now, forget about how it's going to happen because some people, they think they have it all back to front. They think, well, when I figure out how I'm going to do it, I'll think about what I want. And, you know, 
it doesn't work that way because the universe doesn't work that way. The law of attraction says that what you think about, you feel, and what you feel, you'll attract, okay? Off the back of action that follows your feelings because when we act, we don't act on what we think, we act on how we feel, all right? So it's, it's, it's thinking about what you want, which creates an emotion, which creates feeling, and then your actions follow your feelings, and then your results follow your actions, okay, in that order. So dream build. What do you want? Have you got the courage to, to get up off the canvas and start focusing on what you want? Okay, and you say, well, I want my, what I had back in the old times, you know, back in the old days with my that relationship, and I want all that to ch to not to go, I want to go back in time. And I understand that, that to a point, right? But every one of our situations are different. And I tell you what, I would not change my world today for anything, right? Because in time, if you play your cards right and you do some of these basic fundamentals well, you will get to a place where your world will be better than you could ever have imagined. But the point is, if you focus on what you want, it'll create an emotion, and which it creates actions, which creates results, okay? So Mal's talking here about dream building. Focus on your dreams, not on what, not on your past, okay? And then number three, the third thing was he talked about was persistent effort. Every day, every day, every day. Again, it's all about your actions that follow your feelings. Your feeling, feelings follow your thoughts and your thoughts follow your dreams, your decision on what to focus on. So consistent effort is a byproduct of what you focus on, what you think about, what you feel about, and what you then do, okay? And if your dream is big enough, the facts don't count. If your dream is big enough, you will attract into your world a vehicle, a way to make them become a reality, okay? So don't lose sight of the fact that it's not, it's not about what you have in your hand, it's about how you think, right? And, and the resource, the provision to fulfill the vision will appear in time if you get it right. So it's all about how we think, what we focus on, and the third one is then the effort. And the effort is constant, okay? Constant effort as a result of getting those three things in play. So I hope this video has helped you today. If you're in a place where you're going through hell right now, Know this, that it is only temporary. It's a season in your life, okay? It's a season in your life, and you can rebuild your life, but it's going to require you to be intentional around some, developing some, some habits, success habits that work in your world to focus on what you want, to focus on why you actually are on the planet, okay? And you're on the planet for a purpose, right? And that's a whole other subject right there. But I want to encourage you with that today. Hey, if you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. On this channel, we put together content that's going to help you fast track your comeback. In the descriptions panel below, you'll no you'll notice that I've got some links there. One of those is to my 10 breakthrough steps. These are 10 breakthrough steps that I took back when I was going through my hell that I applied to my life. Uh, and I'm sharing those with you today for free. You can download those and I'll send them straight to your email address. Put your email address in the in the box that it asks you to, and I'll be able to email those straight into your inbox. Ten breakthrough steps. I'm sure they'll add value to your life. Also, in the descriptions panel, you'll see a free webinar that I have called Comeback Heroes Webinar. Click on that. Have a look at it. I know that will add value to your world as well. So in the descriptions panel, check them out. And until we see each other next time, thank you for joining me today. I trust you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one.